Yeah, I think basically it's uh, the lack of uh, um, the things that you use when you're having periods. Pads, tampons, uh, panty liners basically. Yeah. A situation whereby uh, a woman who's already reached the age of menses cannot uh, afford the period uh, sanitary, what do we call it? Um, afford pads? No, I don't know. Uh, I can say it's where uh, girls or women in general can't afford uh, menstrual products, uh, maybe to low income or... Uh, where uh, teenage girls or uh, ladies, young ladies, are not able to access um, pads due to either they cannot, cannot afford them or they are in places where they cannot um, reach or get the pads. Yes, in some places, yes, but um, overly in most places people are talking about it openly, but we still have very few places where people still don't talk about it openly. No. No, oh, actually, this is something that we have to speak about, it's something that we have to enlighten everybody about. There's no shame in periods. No, they're not. No. <laughs> but I think, yeah, by the way, because there are some areas where girls still have to, to cut her laces and hide themselves. Kwa wengine si kwa watu wote, because uki kwa na period, at least kwa mwana mke isawa. First of all, uh, a lot of women face self-esteem issues because of that. Then um, becoming more empowered, basically, you find that a lot of girls lose opportunities because they feel that having having periods uh, makes you less of a person in the society. Kind of, yeah, because uh, when we look at it, those girls from very poor background, they can't attend classes. They cannot go about their daily activities or chores because of that. So when you look at it, the boys still go on with their daily activities. So it's still quite a bit of a problem. Uh, it comes with uh, shame, uh, lack of expressing yourself because you're feeling maybe too shameful. Um, yeah, and uh, in hygiene. Um, when I think of it, I, I cannot imagine like not having or not, not being able to access pads or tampons. Because you can imagine it brings shame, yeah? And as a woman, you just feel like, okay, I'll do anything to get this thing, you see? And especially young girls. There are people who are still learning, they're still maturing, they still have a long way to go. So instead of thinking about what they're going to learn about, they're thinking about how I'll, you know, maybe um, seduce a man and get some, some money, yeah, to purchase the pads, which is quite unfair. Yeah. Government in this idea, like he organized car pads, the way like for a party was done. I'm a dikama kuna women when you are to present to Koju, like what idea love not to me. Our leaders in government, let's start with those because um, people like women rep should be able to reach these girls and just get to know what's happening on the ground. Um, um, leaders in different institutions, yeah, the churches, the mosques, they should be able to address such issues and not just, you know, shove them under the carpet. Yeah. Everybody is responsible. It starts from women, goes to men, schools, um, society in general, government. So we are all responsible from a social perspective. Um, we look at it as a as a what as a woman's problem. So sometimes even the government they want to be involved unless we have women lobby groups who come up and say this is a problem. Uh, we need zero taxation on tampons on pads. Women in power. Uh, let's say even the government because uh, lack of uh, menstrual products is like lack of. Uh, the human dignity. So if women can access the right to dignity, that would be nice. And the government coming in maybe uh, with uh, giving out pads to not only to the orphans or street children, but to women in general, even those who can afford. <laughs> Enlighten people, give people information. There's no shame in having a period, there's no shame in 
buying pads there's no shame in talking about tampons basically so just be open about it let's let's engage more well i think it's just simple as in this time and age just lobbying and um, educating our young girls who are in the informal settlements because they are the most affected just creating awareness um, of people like people being aware of the spirit of poverty and uh, maybe also kupeana uh, pads they can supply for most of the girls or women who do have the, su the supplement. Okay, so. Where my daughter goes to school, she's, she's 11, she's not gotten her periods yet. And I, I'm quite like we engage with her and I asked her, like, does, do you have a dispenser where you can access those pads? Yeah? Do you have a place where you can go and get the pads even if you've never had those periods? And she said no, so that's something that is in my head. And also talking to young girls generally, yeah, letting them know that yeah, you may lack something, but that does not mean um, you stoop low to get it. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Kuna njia na pianaanga, but I don't know. Okay. Ni 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 poa kama kila mtu anafakwa na pad, because ina kuanga very shame sana. Period ina kuanga kuingi ni very shame, especially kama una pad. Okay. Mi okay, mi na kama sana sana pads kwa wenye wajiwezi serikali na fakwe na peana. Umesikia. Kwa, kwa orphanage, kwa, okay, kwa hizi street wanatembea, unafakuwa na peana serikali. Because si watu wote waneza kwa afford kununua period. Especially ya wamama unananga wako hapa wanatembea, serikali nafai shugulikie. Wanafakuwa angalia au wanyo wako hapa kama wako na pads. Because period na kuanga kitingina ibu, especially kuna tembea kwa street uko na period nyuma. Equally comfortable. And you can catch more on this conversation every Monday night at 10.30 p.m. on Capital FM.